Okay. When we last left off, you guys had been given a quest to go down into uh, the undercity of Nemu to look for a book that held uh, an ancient cure for a recent disease. You guys descended into the undercity, made your way to the library, where you silently and quickly dispatched some cult members, and then quickly dispatched their leader, which appeared to be a sphinx. And that's where we left off. Quickly enough. Yeah, I, I think uh, I remember my uh, my zombie brother killing a sphinx with a book. That's pretty cool. Uh, At least how I remember it. Did we ever figure out like what uh, which cult they were part of or anything like that? You did not. Hmm. Figure out what? Uh, I need a. So I think I think we searched the room, and the um, and pretty much searched the fucking sphinx. So. Uh, is um, our break, we, is it, we took a short rest, or... Is there a pathway, oh. like, past the Sphinx or anything like that? It's just a dead-end room. It's a large room, but it's a dead-end. So, right. should we check the books? See if the books are up here? I mean, this is where the, the, one of the guys had the key up here. So, can I do an investigation, I guess? With both of my Looking characters? Okay, make investigation yeah. checks. Uh, right. Unnatural 20 for hmm. Philip. And a oh, twelve for Ran. Okay. Um, you don't find the book you're looking for. You spend maybe an hour just tossing books aside, looking at covers, flipping them open, looking inside. You do not find the book you were looking for in this pile. Um, are there a lot of? How long has it been since a, we've uh, like multiple? Uh, sorry. Say again, Javon. Uh, are there? Do I need to do multiple investigation checks for this this book, or would I, I guess, out of character, be wasting my time to keep searching this room? You're fine. You you've already okay. searched the room. Okay, no problem. Right. Um, how long has it been since we've been we've come down here? It's only been like an, a couple hours. It took you about an hour to get down here. I'll say it took you about forty minutes at a slow pace to get to the library, and once okay. you got to the library, you were only in there for like thirty minutes. So no point in taking a long rest. Alright. Can if you'd like. I got Honestly, we could. We it's up to you guys. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. What, uh, Do you want to take a long cool? rest or nah? Oh, uh, hell yeah, dude. Okay, because <laughs> cause I was going to say, uh, Igneo would be at half strength without a long rest. I don't have any fireballs at my disposal. Alright, yeah, we can, we can go ahead and take a long rest. That's concerning. What's concerning? <laughs> Your you fireballs. Fireballs. <laughs> hey, fireballs, man. Don't All you right, understand? So, uh, I guess while we take a long, while we're taking a rest, uh, actually, I can't even say that again. All right, fuck it. Yeah, we'll take a long rest. Okay, who's taking watch? Uh, uh, I'll I'll let Philip take watch first. Okay, go ahead and make okay. a perception check for me. All right, it's been nice for those snacks in the next couple minutes. Well, he, well, Philip. Can we take check? the time? Could my or before we rest, could my characters take the time to like board up some doors? There's only one way in, but you can take up the time and board it up if you'd like. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Actually, um, yeah, did I grab the ability? I did not. Um, okay. So yeah, I have Philip do it, and I have um, Long take the watch since he doesn't really need sleep either. Okay. <laughs> All right, you said do a perception? Perception for me. I got a... <laughs> I got a four. A four? Yeah, bro. I ain't see shit. Uh, throughout the night, you don't hear anything. Your watch goes by uneventful, though, because the door mm -hmm. is boarded up. So no one can sneak up on right. you. Close the door. What are you doing? Good. Sorry. Uh, the door is boarded up so no one can sneak up on you. Who's taking second watch? Jay, I can. Okay. Go ahead and make a perception check for me. Sorry, Brian was talking to me. Ooh. Um, not good. Um, 13. 13? 
better than a four, but uh, your watch goes by uneventful. You get the idea that if anything was to sneak up on you, it'd be almost impossible because the doors have been barred. <laughs> Could we hear any commotion outside, at least, or anything like that, or no? You don't hear anything, no. Okay. I'll take. I'll have um Rand take the next watch. Would you say no. that? I mean, would uh, you say that by this entire? Have any of my spell slots come back yet? Or yes, or Rand took. Not be back yeah, yet? Rand got a full eight hours. Okay, so then I will. I guess while the next watch Third goes. Third will be awake at that time too. All right. I, while everybody else starts resting, I will go ahead and cast um Arcane Eye. And start okay. scouting out the area. Okay, where are you scouting out in general? The city itself, um, or are you looking for the next location? So, out of character, would you say that? I mean, pretty much we found anything that we, everything that we need to find in the um, in the library, or, or would it be useful for us to continue searching the library? Uh, you've seen all the rooms in the library. Okay, then yeah, I'll start searching but, um, the city. Start heading towards the next um, our I'm next gonna, uh, go to. I'm gonna have Thurk here since he's awake. Go ahead and. Uh... Unbarricade the uh, door and go to the front entrance of the library stealthily. Okay, Where's make my spell list for, me? for Drea? Where are my sticky notes? My shit's all fucking disorganized, dude. That's why Where I the got a nap. Is Drea's fucking spell that list. That is a uh, 28. You pretty much use cantrips as much that as you is. want, right? Yeah, cantrips yeah. are in Cantrips are unlimited right. uses. Figured. All right. But yeah. So I'll go ahead and cast Arcane Eye. Uh, so it was the library, Wait, the market, and the, what, was the, what was the other place? Uh, the du the underkeep, the Duke's quarters. Okay. Okay. I think we were talking about leaving the market for last because that's where the the dragon was sighted last. Yes. So I'll start sending my Arcane Eye towards the uh, the Duke's uh, Duke spot. Okay. Logan, twenty-eight. I got it. Twenty-eight. Um, you. It seems the library itself is now deserted. Whatever was living here, you have taken care of. So getting to the entrance is uneventful. But you are at the entrance. What would you like to do? Well, I was going to scout out and see. Do we know? I was going to see Sorry, from the gone. distance. And I probably can't go have, distance. have their character station himself right there. Just waiting for everybody else. Okay. Do we know who inhabited this city beforehand? Like you did before? not. It was abandoned. You don't know why it was abandoned. You don't know the previous... Could I history check it? Make a history check. No, no. No, man. I get a seven. <laughs> You're not familiar with Viet or any of its history. So you, you can't really piece together why the city may have been abandoned. You can probably do some research later on if you'd like, but at the moment you don't really know anything. Alright. Okay. Uh, Javon. Yes, sir. Your arcane eye floats through the city. You start mm -hmm. to go up an incline towards the top of the city where the underkeep is. Okay. Uh, the streets are still empty. There's really no life down here. Until you get about okay. halfway to your destination... When um, you start to see little shadows moving around in the darkness. Uh, do, can I take a perception check to see if I can... Uh, Make a perception well, I, mean, I can get as close as fucking possible, too. You can get as close as you uh, want. Yeah, the eye is invisible. Yeah. I want to get like right in his fucking face and then like try to really focus on what it is. Okay, make a perception check. I just want to see it. I really want to see this shit. Oh, nat 20. Nat 20? Uh, yes, sir. You see maybe five or six little kobolds scavenging okay. through an old storefront. On the way to the, uh, the whatchamacallit, right? The Duke's Keep, yes. Okay. They don't, okay. they don't notice you, obviously, but it looks like they're gathering up uh, supplies. Not food. TMOD. It looks like they're gathering up shiny things. With natural 20. I like shiny things. Okay. Um... I'll go ahead and pass that that on to the guys and well anybody who's awake in the room. Um, let them know that if we head this way, if we head this way uh, towards the Duke's spot, that we can probably intercept the kobolds and see what they have on them. And then okay. I'll keep on trucking along. Okay. You continue to float through the city. Mm. Ran, I'm gonna 
for that information, I think I'm gonna go ahead and investigate the other part of the library with the other cult people and see what they, uh, you know, <laughs> well, who the cult what? they are. I'm gonna check out the. I'm gonna check out those dead bodies of the cult guys that are okay. on the other on the other part of the library. All right, no problem. I'll be okay. I'll be back. Make an investigation check for me, Manny. All right. While this is all going on, Philip, since he's a gnome, is laying down under like two books sleeping. He's so small. Okay. Investigations right here. Okay. A Sorry if you guys hear my son, he's eating apples. You're fine. <laughs> Eighteen. Don't lead him quietly. I tried. He doesn't listen. Eighteen. Uh, is this Vaughn or is there here? Yeah, this is Vaughn. Okay, Vaughn. here. He is just stationed um in front of the library stuff. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Vaughn, you search the bodies. You find a couple letters and notes on the bodies. Mostly, it looks like just hastily scribbled books, a list of books. <clears throat> Um, you get the idea that these cult members were gathering the books for the Sphinx, for whatever purpose you don't know, but it seems that they were searching the library for whatever was left. It seems they had transferred all the books from the bottom floor to the top floor. Wait, look, would it be a religion check or what then? The no, I'm, what type of I'm getting cult to it. they are. Okay, okay. You get the idea that they, they're not a well-known cult. It looks like they're just a small cult that worship the Sphinx. So they're oh. not they're not like a known god or anything like that. It looks like it was just a cult formed specifically to worship the Sphinx. A cult of knowledge. I got Basically. you. So. The Sphinx we killed or just the Sphinx in general? The Sphinx we <laughs> killed. Oh, so, well then. So, from, from this so we just shut down a whole religion. Damn. That's what we so, do. So, from the speculation and everything, Vaughn realized that, damn. They were probably pretty good guys. I, I could have gone ahead and just went ahead and converted these people. Maybe. I mean, now that their god is dead, yes, but I mean, they, and, they also are dead. So. And these three and these three goddamn rogues just, like, instantly killed them all. Mm-hmm. We don't want these problems. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Ran. So, uh, your religion doesn't have any more followers, Manny. Your arcane you don't, eye. You don't know anything. <laughs> your arcane eye moves up to the upper keep. Can it go through walls? It uh, can. I don't think it can go through walls. I think it can go through hole. It can go through holes. One second. Any hole at least an inch big, if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh, cool. Visible visual can move. No limits how far it can go. 30 feet per round if I used it like while we were fighting. Uh, it cannot pass through solid objects, but can fit through a space as small as a, as a one inch square. And okay. also has dark vision up to 30 feet. Okay. You, your eye floats up to the main gate of the, of the Duke's complex. Mm -hmm. The doors are shut. But at the top of the doors are bars that are about, a, not a foot, about five inches in, away from each other. Five okay. inches spaced apart. So your eye gently oh. floats up there into the, the little hole, and you enter the main courtyard. Okay. You can see ahead of you there is a doorway, a nice arched doorway that seems to be the entrance. Okay. Uh, as you drift through... Hold on, i got to get my notes. You're good. You enter a small foyer about 20 feet by 20 feet across... Filled with dilapidated furniture, couches, chairs, just broken and uh, they've been, you know, they've been destroyed. Thrown around, okay. All right. Um, uh, from there, are, do I see any like doors or anything from there? There's another set of doors ahead of you that are open that lead into a hallway. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll definitely go check that out. Okay, you float through the hallway. And you come to this large ballroom. Oh, excuse me. I'm good.
Sorry, I got I got the hiccups. Uh, the room is maybe thirty-five feet by thirty-five feet. Not a large ballroom, but wait, no, is it thirty-five feet? Yeah, it's thirty-five feet by thirty-five feet. It's a large ballroom, but it's also kind of on the smaller side. For sure. As you drift in, it's empty. There's it's just a sh shiny uh, granite floor. Uh, there are three passageways around you. There's one to your right, one to your left, and one ahead of you. And then there's the one behind you that you came through. Uh, can I do a perception check? Do, does one of the areas look like it's been traveled? Like it's been uh, gone through a little more than the others? Hmm. Make a perception check. I made her. I rolled a one. I ain't see shit. So um, I'm gonna go up my gut. And I'm gonna go to the left. <laughs> okay. My my actual my arcane eye blinked when I was getting ready to check out stuff. So. I didn't okay. see anything. Uh, you, your eye drifts over to the left. It's a it's an L shaped hallway. As you round the corner, ahead of you, you can see faint torchlight. A faint torchlight. Faint, I'm very faint. All right, I'm definitely gonna try and get closer. Okay, you enter the room. It's uh, it is do, 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 do. it is a room full of chests. Ooh. Uh, there are six chests. Okay. And they just there's a faint torch. There's a faint light burning torch at the, at the other end of the room by another hallway. Mhm. Mm and the only thing in the room of of worth is the six chests. Well, that looks highly suspicious, but also my lust for for money is definitely too strong to pass up on this. Um, I'll go ahead and pass that information on to uh, Igneal, just because he's the person I'm, I'm closer with. Um, I'll tell I'll tell uh, Manny's person too. He's, even though he left us to die, I'll still consider him a friend for now. Um, I don't really tell the roguey rogues. Um, and then... Yeah, so I'll pass that on to them. Okay. Like I said, whatever we find, whatever we find, we get to keep, so figure you know that, as You'd well have to go to the us. other wing of the library, right? Oh, I'll tell you whenever you come back then. I'm not really worried about leaving. So. Okay. I'm on watch. Okay. okay. You float into the next hallway. Um, you twist and wind down like an S-shaped corridor until you come to a dark room. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, it's a small, it looks like a small library. There's bookshelves, okay. there's books everywhere. Uh, there's no light, but you have dark vision. Uh, the room seems to be empty other than the books. You said the room seems to be empty, but what? The room is empty other than books. Okay, so definitely we're going to want to check out that room to see if we can find the book there. Um, I'll take note of that. Same thing. Um, do I see anything out of the ordinary here besides the books? No. Anybody laying around, scuffling, footprints? Okay. It's just a it's a thin layer of dust on the floor. And that was the, the room to the right? Was that the room to the front? Forward. You went to the left. Then you Breath went first. You went left. Mm -hmm. Then you took, there's only one hallway. And mm -hmm. it, it snaked around until you made it to this room. Oh, so there was another hallway inside the room to the left. No, there was no other hallways. It was a straight shot. Okay, now I'm just confused. Oh, so I went straight across. Okay. So yeah. now all that's left is the one that was initially ahead of me. So, okay. So left has the chest, right has the books. Now we're going forward. Okay. You float forward into what looks like servant quarters. There's right. lots of old beds, bunk beds mostly. Uh... They have not been slept in, slept in in a very long time. The sheets are made, and there's a thick layer of dust over everything. Okay. There is, from there, there is one hallway to the right and one to the left. Um, alright, uh, I will go to the right. Okay. Pencil. You, you drift along the hallway until it ends at a brick wall. It's a dead. Okay. It seems to be a dead end. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. No. Investigation check in here. Making you can make an investigation check, um, but since it's the eye, 
You can't mm -hmm. actually touch anything. I can't touch it. Yeah, I can just see it, see stuff in. So I'll just see if anything was out of, out of place. That, that makes sense. All right, and I got a 12. You can't see. There's nothing out of place. It's just a standard brick wall. I can't see shit. All right. Um, I'll leave and make a note of this and go back to the uh, the right. Can I just say that while I'm while my eyes see and shit, I'm just kind of like jotting it down, kind of like making like a, a map. Yeah. False. All right, so I'll head the other way then. Okay. The room ahead of you, you start to travel down the hallway until you see um, there is light coming from the room, and there seem to okay. be figures moving in the shadows. All right. Um, I'll get a little closer and see if I can at least get a number count on how many. Okay. You drift in, and you see, standing before you, unaware of your presence, two tall figures dressed in robes. Same robes that we saw with the other guys? Uh, no, these are not cult robes. Okay. They have what looks like... They looks like they have breastplates on under their robes. Okay. And since they don't see you, you, get, you can get really close. You can see that their heads... Their heads re resemble octopi, or octopuses. They have tentacles okay. streaming down from their chin. They have bulbous heads, pale gray skin, almost purple. And Ooh, they seem to be, they seem to be working on something. All right, um, can I, that, that sounds really f familiar. Um, They're my I'll go ahead and, and, That's what I figured. I'll, I'll go ahead and pass it on to uh, Igneal, because he's close by, and ask him if he knows if that sounds familiar to him. Well, like Igneal deals is awake. Like... Make a history you say check. Say what? Or, yeah, yeah, a history check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're better with that kind of shit than I am. Alright, hold on, give me a minute. You say what? Give me a minute, I'm making coffee. You're good. Like Alright, um... I can go ahead and... I'll run a... I guess I can, I can run a history check. I don't think I got shit for history, though. Go ahead. Um, oh, no, I got zero points. I don't either. I got... <laughs> I'll roll a five. A five? Can I help Javon? You can assist him. You roll with advantage. You roll with advantage, Javon. Yeah. I got a 10. 10. <laughs> Better than a 5. Yeah. Uh, you're not familiar with Mind Flayers, but you have heard of them. These two figures, they do look exactly like Mind Flayers are described. Mm. You do Mind notice that they're, pretty... they're working on something on a table. And as you mm. get closer, you can see it's a kobold. Barely breathing. Hold and they're... Hold on. That's like the they're experimenting fuck. on it, or they're eating it. Probably that, yeah. Probably like experimenting on this nigga. They are. It seems to be a kobold, still alive, unconscious, and you can see they've opened up his chest and seem to be prodding around in his organs. Well then. All right, I'm gonna pass this on to the people in the room and say, uh, no matter what. Where is this at, uh, anyway? In the Duke's that's quarters. That's over at the, 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 the Duke's quarters. <laughs> is that a totally separate building? Yeah. Alright. All right. Also, our, three main, uh, our three main places were the, the library, the Duke's quarters, and the market. Market we're saving for last, because that's where the dragon's supposed to be. But now I kind of feel like we should have went for the dragon before the fucking my, my place. But, um... Mm. Yeah. Since you already scouted that out, we'll go to the airfares, and then we can go to the dragon next. We're going to hit all places, yeah. even if we find oh, yeah. what we're looking for. The Kira um, goes ahead and pulls out a copper wire out of his pocket and casts message. Okay. Because who knows what's been left behind <laughs> down here. Yeah. And he focuses He focuses straight on, um, I would say, you know, I'm going to roll, I'm going to roll, um, I'm going to roll a d6 to see who he, ro he focuses on. Three. So that would be... Ran, okay. He's going to focus up? on Ran. He's going to focus on Ran real quick. Mm -hmm. And, Javon, just so you know, this is like a recorded message when, when I do it. Because this is a uh, cantrip he's casting. No problem. <laughs> the kill is reporting that there's nobody at the front. We are pretty good. You can reply I to could, this message. Can I talk back to him? Yes. Oh, I, can I sit him? Okay, um, uh, think you should head back. Got some info on next location. 
They're Land here. Upwards. It hears you loud and clear. Is everybody there? Yep, everybody's still here. All right. All right um, the I mean, is besides them back. doing, besides them doing experiments, I feel like that's that's pretty much all the rooms in the uh, in the house. That is all the rooms. Logan. All right. Well, I guess at that point, once we finish uh, this this rest, we can start heading that way. And I guess prepare. Probably send the rogues ahead. Is my uh my guess. <laughs> oh shit. Are we good to go? At this point, the long rest is completed. You all recover your spells and your health, whatever you lost. Oh yeah, I forgot to check my health. Oh, I didn't take any hits on either character. Nice. All right. All right. So um, I'll go ahead and I'll go over everything with everybody. Uh, I highly recommend us sending the uh, rogues ahead. Um, it just makes sense. And, uh, probably to probably say that they probably shouldn't engage the mind flares on their own. I mean, they, you know, they, they're not weak by any means, but you just never know, uh, what to expect when it comes to mind, mind flares. How many mind flares were there? Just two. Just I two. only saw two. Can, um, can Bob make a nature check on, well, yeah, a nature check on... Land flares. I don't think he's ever seen one in his life, but still, just to speculate on what they are. Who, Vaughn or? Yeah, no, yeah, Vaughn. Yeah, go ahead and make an answer check if you'd like. Uh, okay, eighteen plus. Eighteen plus. Where's um nature? Oh, here you go. Plus one, nineteen. 19. After having them described to you, you can confirm that they are mind flayers. Do I know anything else based on the what the history of mind flayers, or would I have to make a history check on that? Ah! You Sorry. have to make a history check. You okay, Mighty? All right. Yep, fine. Alright, I'll go ahead and uh, do a history check. And that's a... That's a 10. 10? You know that Mind Flayers live underground, in the Underdark, in these almost uh, hive mind type of environments. You don't know what two of them would be doing by themselves. Oh yeah, they probably have a big brain boy yes, somewhere. Yes, they have an elder brain. But these two, it is odd that you ha that these two seem to be on their own. Um, is it more yes. odd that they seem to be on their own, or is it more odd that they're dissecting a fucking cobalt that's still alive? Uh, it seems to be more odd that they're on their own. You know okay. that Mind Flayers <laughs> dissecting a cobalt isn't too far out of their purview. Gotcha, gotcha. So, all right, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think, I think we should start guys, heading that way. You guys want to fuck up some Mind Flayers? Yeah. Start heading that way. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have uh, Philip uh, head out ahead and start scouting out the way. Um, if the other rogues wanna come, that's cool. If not, then he's gonna go ahead and roll stealth and uh, start heading out. Their character's gonna roll stealth as well. Should we roll stealth for all our characters? If you all, I'm want not really worried about yes. Rand. I'm definitely just do it for Rogue. Static. Power charge. Stealth. Anybody here like static in the background? Twenty-one. I a yeah. little bit. It sounds it sounds more like a. Uh... Oh, okay, I hear it now. Never mind. I yeah. don't hear anything. Twenty-one for Philip. I'm not rolling. We're rolling one for Rand. Here, I'm gonna mute my mic. Tell me if it stops. It does. It does. Yeah. Is it static or does it sound like a fan? Static. It could be a fan. It might be a fan. Let me turn my fan off. Is it gone? Yeah. yeah. So is the fan. Okay. Yep. So is it your fan? You Maybe the fan was causing static. Of a bitch. That's weird. Okay. 
All right, so um, a natural twenty for um, on for stealth. Yeah, and third gear twenty-eight. Okay, I already had that. Uh, is anyone no, else no, stealthing? Well, oh, okay. Uh, Philip is stealthing. He rolled a twenty-one. I Rand's not worried about it. If I'm sending the scouts ahead, I'm not gonna stealth. Plus, my zombie brother's kind of big. I'm not really worried about him stealthing. Okay, so who's going ahead <laughs> to scout? Philip is. Okay. I guess Jay is as well. Um, she rolled a. Uh... Their. Um. Their cure, um is also. Eighteen stealth. Their... Okay. And what is no, their cure doing? Still static. -y. Oh God. Their is going to go and stealth. Are you charging your headset? I, well, no, it's just plugged well, in. Mm. It's fine now. I don't know. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, wait. Their we'll is going to get. Yeah, it's fine. The yeah. Their cure is giving them a headset that unbearable. he's going. He's going ahead with them, and he has message. So they can just go ahead and he can give them a call back on what whatever he needs to it's a good thing message is a cantrip okay so philip and thurk here you guys break off from the main group and start heading forward into the city let's go go ahead and make perception checks for me i'll percept these uh, nuts uh -huh. they okay, got a 14 talking about Perception. Where are you? Wisdom. Ah, here we go. That's a 13 as well. 13? As you guys stealthily move through the streets, um, up ahead you do see what looks like more kobolds raiding another store. They don't mm -hmm. seem to have noticed you, and it looks like they're packing up ready to leave. Okay. Um, do you, do you think we should take? Do you think we should uh, take them out or let the other guys worry about them? How many are there? There's like three. Three? Their cares. I think goes... we can handle this. Our cobalt's Their cobalt's normally bad. Their cares are ready to assess. I mean, I don't think they're really bad. They're monster creatures. They, they definitely come from the under under don't they? Um, what I know, what I speculate that they can. Or I guess you can do a history check on that. The, uh, or a nature check. One, the one dragon um, god is uh, Tiamat. Uh, you wouldn't be able to determine. What you know about kobolds, they don't worship Tiamat. They sometimes worship dragons if it comes up in their lives. But for the most yeah. part, they're just kind of scavengers who live underground. So we yeah, could probably piece together killing. that the dragon, the dragon that's uh, that's down here is probably who who they're uh, they're worshiping you and bringing shit together. to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So not, I'm gonna so go. So not worth I'm killing. Go. No, we don't want to kill him. I'm gonna attack the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna attack the. Is the dragon I evil? The dragon's probably evil, right? What do we know if it's a colored dragon? Yeah, it's a white dragon. It's a white dragon. That's yeah. the one okay, that so bit off, uh, okay. bit off the one chromatic. guy's leg. Oh yeah. So yeah, I guess we could kill the kobolds. I mean, they're gonna we're gonna have to deal with them later well, probably. Well, yeah, I don't everything. see us killing the dragon without having to deal with them. So. Well, they're conversing uh, yeah. everything, Logan, trying to determine if they should kill him or not. Their cure goes to attack the one that's the uh, most lo lonely of them all. Okay, go ahead and make an attack roll. Yeah, I'll have Philip go ahead and grab his uh, short bow and take an attack at uh, at one of them. Well, I guess Jay is going to run up to one of them because uh, <laughs> he doesn't have a ranged attack. Might as well. There's only three. So yep, which one so do you take? <laughs> yeah, I'll take one of them. All right, roll uh, for a take. Okay, so this is a... 16 to attack. That'll hit. Thanks. We should right. see, so... 7 plus... 18. That's That'll 5d6. Hit. I don't see them being too strong, but might as well go ahead and... So 15 moves. damage. You you knock your arrow and let it loose. The cobalt kind of raises its head as the arrow just mm -hmm. slips in between its ears. It just kind of sits there, blinks for a second, and then just falls down dead. Sleep. And then, uh... 
I'm doing a little jig. I got him. I got him. <laughs> oh wait, stealth, and I roll, and I, I, I dive back into the into the shadows. Okay. Right, so Kier, <laughs> what are your damage? Let's see. That's eight plus four. Twenty-two for stealth. Damage. Stealth. Ball damage, Logan. Uh, you run up, you grab it by the, you grab it around the neck, and you plunge your dagger right into its chest. It makes a little squeak, and then just goes limp in your arms. And then Drea, what do you roll? <laughs> Mine just comes uh, curve some fucking cobalt in the throat. Um, <laughs> let me see my damage. <laughs> Me and Manny do this all beautifully and uh, you know it comes... stealthily, and then Man Manny comes by and just freaking like R RKOs a fucking cobalt. I'm trying to see the fucking <laughs> my. I think I get two d six for sneak attack. Yeah. Okay. I think it's great that I can sneak attack with an axe, and I got a one for a fucking. I think I can re-roll that. Hold on, let me see. Fighting style, great weapon fighting. When you roll a one or two on damage die for an attack, you make with a melee weapon that you're wielding with the new two hands, you can re-roll a de die. Must use a new roll. Okay, nice. So I can re-roll that. Hell yeah. Fuck! I won again, dude! Okay, so mine's probably not gonna die. Let me roll my sneak attack. Um, seven damage. Wait, no, more than that. Uh, nine damage. Okay, you you silently run up to the cobalt who kind of sees its sees its sudden circumstance. It goes to pull out a little horn, and you just bring your axe and slice it right down the middle as it just kind of folds oh, in I on itself. It. <laughs> Thank God. I go ahead and um, their their care picks up the uh, the um, horn. Okay. What? Not blow that horn. <clears throat> what does this do? I wonder. Oh, not blow and that hole. He plays it. He puts it in the bag of holding. Okay. Th that'll uh, alert all the. Uh, I'll go ahead and check. Uh, I'll go ahead and start and um, searching now, the cobalt that I killed. Okay. Now, Therkir, pro now Therkir proceeds to go ahead and Drum start nice. eating the eating the hands of the um, of the one um, cobalt that he just start um. Searched, just that says started. to the other guy to the other group members. Does anyone find this guy a little creepy? <laughs> you have no idea as I start skipping away over to the cobalt that I killed. Okay, uh, make an investigation check for me. And third here, right. you do put in your inventory one cobalt horn. Yeah, it is. Uh, I got a unnatural 20. Okay, the cobalts didn't have much on them. You find maybe five copper, and it looks like just silverware, plates, just shiny things. Okay. Um, Nothing crazy. I'll go ahead and, um, are they wearing ropes? No, they are wearing loincloths. Oh, God. Okay. Never I go mind. ahead and, um, I'm gonna go ahead and see, look, is there, is, is it possible for me to take the carcass of the uh, kobold that I just killed and put it in the bag of holding? They're small enough. It'll fit. Okay. I'll add that to my um, list right here. One um, cobalt carcass. All right. Um, I guess we can start heading up. I I'd say. Uh, I guess we can proceed ahead. And whenever we make it to the uh, the Duke's house, we'll just wait for the other ones to to arrive. As soon as um, Philip is done reply um, speaking, everything. All of a sudden, you see their care go. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes. Now, we can go ahead and continue. We can continue, if anything. I wish that I had not seen that. <laughs> Alright. Um, no knock it yep. until you try it. it tastes <laughs> like chicken. And I dive back into the shadows. <laughs> and keep moving ahead. <laughs> Philip is not trying to make eye contact with uh, Tokyo. <laughs> Even for somebody who's chaotic, good, very chaotic, he's not that chaotic. So, he's uh. I'm not, he's not even chaotic. Down. Chaotic. That's the thing. I'm oh, my person about. is. <laughs> my person's chaotic. Good. <laughs> this is uh, this is a little too much for him. So we uh we we truck along. Uh, what's going on with our guys? Are they just just following along safely? Have they noticed anything new? Uh, um, Logan. Before um, before itself, 
before I stealth and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, pull out the copper wire with a, a message with the third uh, third gear, and I'm gonna roll um, a d4 to see who he he sends it to. As long as we're 120 feet away, if we're farther, you won't be able to reach us unless you have spell sniping. One, so that would be Igneal. <clears throat> Wait, what? This is Turkia. Go ahead and send you a message through the copper wire. Everything is safe. You can reply to this message. <laughs> right. Thank you for contacting Turkia. <laughs> the, the, the person you are trying to reach. If you have no any, any comments, questions, or complaints, please call. <laughs> <laughs> please call Turkia. <laughs> If you have any extra fingers, Turk, go take them off your hands. <laughs> I love hey, the knife hey. game in bars. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I imagine Turk here just being that asshole who like challenges people to to the knife game and then just cuts off fingers and runs. Make Doesn't a, even try. <laughs> make a it's uh make a um inside check. Well, not inside check. Nope. I'd no, rather not do that. Make us a intelligence happy, check on that. Being a happy I just imagine girl. he's like Zoid Bearing, like, <laughs> they cut off a finger and he just slurps the whole, like, table until he gets the finger. <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for your contribution. And walks off like he did something like, walks off like it was just normal as shit. <laughs> Wait, right, moving along. Okay, I stealth again. That, that was that was um was that your whole time of play with um um Igneo? Yes. <laughs> you guys had a little back and forth over how how, how creepy he is. <laughs> you just want to let him know that you found him creepy. Nah, uh, well the thing is like he can it's like a reply from um Igneo, so I'm here like a one sided conversation for Igneo, um laughing with the other guys, and <laughs> the the feelings are slightly hurt from what he hears. Their kid doesn't know what you guys are talking about, but have some fingers. Um, I got a really bad. Uh, you can reply to this um... message. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> me, me, and Manny are hiding in the shadows, and all you hear is clunky ass fucking um, miney. Like you just stay, just stay gotta... away from us. We don't want you to hang out with us. <laughs> all right, what I'm gonna I stealth. Get... I got ten for my stealth. Okay. I need to put plus six so I can just remember that for... 22 and dabbing. Yeah, I got a... a... 22. 22, I think it was. A uh, quick question. Is there a real difference between a natural 20 and an unnatural 20? Natural 20 just gives you double damage. Does a unnatural nat 20 do that? A natural 20 is a crit. An unnatural okay. 20 is just a 20. Okay, no problem. Thank you. You are a beautiful and amazing DM. Okay, so... We shall continue with your story. You guys... The three of you, the, the scouting party, continues forward. The rest of you takes you about five minutes before you stumble across the cobalt murder scene. The two dead cobalts, because one was taken. Um, there don't seem to be any more cobalts around. Uh, the scouting party, you guys make it to the Duke's just, quarter. Just so you know, the one, with, uh, one out, the one without hands is the one that was left behind. Okay. Uh, the scouting party, you guys reach the Duke's uh, keep the underkeep uh and standing before you is a large iron gate maybe 20 feet tall that is closed okay so wait we're all together now or uh not just, yet just it's, the it's just the scouting okay. party all right um can i do an investigation or for actual perception do i see anything that i can climb through or fit over i make a perception check i go ahead and try and pick the lock Okay, Yo, so I got a 12. What? What happened? Uh, Logan. Go ahead and make a thieves tool check for me and uh, fill That'd up be 17. Slide of hand, right? Slide Did you get a bonus yes. from slide hand? Yes. 17 okay. perception. Okay. Um, I got a 12. That is a nat 20. Nat 20? Plus, plus your fat boy. Uh, Drea, you come up to oh. the lock and you instantly recognize plus its you. manufacturer. What, who made it and stuff like that and you easily click click and clink the lock unlocks and the gates kind of swing open slightly they're still Dre's like, heavy but Dre's like open. this I understand this manufacturer pulls out her two blit or two hander and just stabs it right to the freaking keyhole opening up the door instantly 
So the door is now, a good show. The doors are now unlocked, but they're still very heavy, and it'll take a couple people to open them. Um, quickly enough, um, did anything? Did I see anything with a seventeen perception? Uh, what were you looking for? Yeah. I know. I was just like checking to see if there's anybody like looming around. Uh, uh. With the seventeen perception, yeah. you don't see anyone in your immediate area. You're not being followed. Uh, once the doors open, and you can kind of see through the crack into the courtyard, uh, all the trees are dead. The grass is just a deep brown, but um, there doesn't seem to be anybody around. It's just the three. All right. Well, I, um, well you guys definitely are gonna have Philip help. No, you, you don't need to roll stealth. Because oh, I'm a gnome, I have the strength of ten, so I'm not really pushing shit out of anywhere. Uh, so I guess we can go ahead and wait for the other guys to show up, or we can try and f see if yeah. we can sneak in. Don't worry. All right, so we I guess we can we'll... go ahead and send message. Tell them to hurry the hell up. And I roll a d4. It's a one again, so that means ran. Akira is sending message to Ren. To wait, not Ren. Wait, is it Ren? No, no. One was actually uh, Igni. One was Igni. My bad. Yeah. But Akira is sending message to Igni. Go ahead and hurry up. You can reply to this message. Okay. My character whispers to the rest. Why does he keep contacting me? <laughs> is, that, is that? Is <laughs> that? Their cure can hear the conversation even though you whisper. It's all in your head, you know. You can reply to this message. Okay. <laughs> I like that he ends he ends every message when you can you can reply to this message. Ignil just suddenly decides he doesn't want to be a spellcaster anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we make our way up there, Logan. And any okay. any other unusual events happening? Um No. It seems the kobolds, they don't know. They might not know you're there. They might know you're there. You're not sure, but they don't seem to be bothering you. Okay. Um. Were there kobolds inside? Uh, not outside the gate. No. Okay. All right. Um, so we all catch up. Um, yeah. The rest of you arrive. The doors are still there. They're pretty heavy. It's probably going to take to open one door. You get the idea. It might take three or four people. All pushing at the same time. How long would you have said? Would you say it took for us to uh, to get here? About like ten minutes. Okay. So my, can I say my arcane eye is still watching the uh, what you call it? So are they doing anything out of the ordinary? It lasts an hour. So is an hour gone by. You're good. You're good. Uh, are they still dissecting this cobalt? Uh, yes. Is the cobalt still alive? It's still breathing, but oh, it's gosh. in some kind of unconscious state. Gotcha. Okay. All right, um, I pass it on to them, and I let them. I, I show them the layout of what I what I received from um, going in here at first. Okay. Again, I leave out I leave out the the room with the treasure chest uh, from the rogues. Um, but I'm not stupid by any means, so I know that that's just still too good to be true. But I still don't bring it up to them. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys are trying to open the door now? Yep. Okay. Yep. With all of you pushing with all your might, the door swings open, and you now have entrance into the courtyard. And ahead of you, you can see the double doors that are unlocked and are ready for your entry. Is there a window? Um, there are some windows, but they're uh, they're pretty high up. All right, is there a rock on the ground? Uh, a rock? Yes. Make an investigation check. Did I ever pick a feet for that one? Drea. Um, that one. <laughs> as you stand on the rock, you don't see the rock. You search the courtyard pretty well. You don't find any rocks. Do I find anything at least from that one? <laughs> nope, you don't find a shit. You can't even find us and we're standing right next to you. <laughs> By the way, the Duke's quarters is only one floor. There is no second floor. Okay. Okay. So the windows are on the ground level. So they aren't so, right. That was my mistake. The left was Our... the treasure chest. The right was the 
Service quarters. Uh, and ready. board was where the, uh, the whatchamacallits are, correct? Yes. All right. I, uh, I, All right. Pour, um, I, I say that I think we should check out the right. Since, first. since their care could not, could not find a, 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 like a pebble or a little rock or anything to throw at the window, he pulls out a dagger and throws it at the window. Okay, make an attack roll. The fuck? Um, that would be a... Wait, what is he doing? He's throwing a knife at the window. That would be a 14. Why are you trying to alert them? I don't know. You huck a dagger through the air. It The window is open, so it just flies oh, right God. in and goes into the, and hits the ground. You hear it ting across the ground. All right, we got an open There's... window. All right, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to stealth. Okay. 23. Okay. Do I need to um, stealth again? Uh, no, no. He, only because he attacked. Alright, so I guess we can start going. So we can either go ahead and head head forward to where the uh, mine flares are, or we can go to the right where the service uh, chambers were. I don't remember there being too much in there. What are our other characters going to be doing while our rogues what is are in, in? What's to the left? Nothing. This is an empty room. In a section. Can I roll a deception check? Make a deception <laughs> check, make an inside check. What's where's my phone? Um I might do something really quick. Hold on. All right, all right, all right. I got a twenty six. Right. And twenty four does not go ahead and find you. So uh is it Vaughn or Thrakir? Who Thrakir. For what? Thrakir? Um You get the oh, idea he's you. telling the truth. There are no there are there's nothing to the left. Thurkir will believe you this time, but if you like to Thurkir one more time, because I don't know if you're lying, I will eat your hands. Is it one more time? Have I lied to you before? I feel like you have. But you're not sure, so don't I get like three tries to lie to you? Is that how it works? What kind of roll would I make on that, Logan? <laughs> uh, that's not a roll, that's just up to you. <laughs> Can I persuade him to give to, to give me three tries to, to lie to him before he eats my hands? Uh, no. I, you can't persuade another player. You can oh. lie to him, but you can't persuade him. If he has suggestion, maybe. Can I suggest that he did? <laughs> Can I suggest that he did? No, I'm not, not going to waste the suggestion spell. I suggest that you don't eat my hands and that you eat your own hands. <laughs> Alright, um. Alright, so, um. They're curious we go ahead goal. and I, I say that the I know that the rogues um that there's the the servant quarters were to the right, so I I suggest not use not cast a suggestion that they check that out first, and we'll go ahead and we'll uh post up by the uh the front doors, and when they're done we'll head up there and go check out the uh the mind flares. Okay. I know for Are... a fact the mind flares are in the front room. Don't fully remember off the top of my head right now what was in the uh, the room to the right. <laughs> And then when they leave, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tell Igneil and uh, Vaughn and see if they want to go check out the left, uh, the rooms on the room on the left. Okay. We're All not right. splitting the party, are we? Oh, we're definitely like... splitting the party right now. Looks like it. I don't know mm -hmm. if I like this. All right, so Thurkir is gonna roll a D4 again. And it's a. Like we're not, we're not gonna attack so, the more, mind flares. So. We're not gonna take the mind flares separately. They're gonna go check out the right, and we're gonna check out the left. Well, we're gonna wait out front. Is what I told them. We're gonna check out the left. That's My a, deception is dumb high. That's a D three, so that is um. Ran. What's up? They're here. It takes out the copper wire, whispering into it. I will find you. If anything is in trouble, you can reply to this message. I say okay, and then I don't reply after that. Okay. So, let's start with the rope. You're going to the servants' quarters? <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. You guys enter the darkened hallways. Uh, you go into the grand ballroom. And as you enter it, all of you, without perception checks, can hear faint whispering. That kind of just floods your mind. Oh shit! It's mind flares. 
Uh, after about maybe. Do we ten... know what the, they're saying? It's just gibberish. But after about gibberish. ten seconds, the room suddenly Actually, kind of are they, illuminates. Are they like speaking deep or something? No, it's 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 common. Oh, it's just okay. common, just gibberish. Okay. Um, as you enter, the room suddenly kind of illuminates in a faint blue light, and you guys are surrounded by figures that are dancing, basically, like a ballroom. They don't seem to pay any mind to you, and a few of them actually pass through you with un... Are they ghosts? Uh, I wouldn't say they're ghosts. Make Illusions. an intelligence check. Or is it an illusion? This is for her. Uh, I start... It. No, I started I mean, doing like, a jig too. What, this is my like, kind. Of, this is my kind of party. No, but which I'm group? eight. Okay, eight. Wait, which? Which? Uh, which the rogues, I think. The rogues. The rogues? Yeah. That's an at one. That's an at one. <laughs> as far as um, their cure is concerned, these are all ghosts. They are all ghosts. They seem to their be. Cure go they don't pay you any mind, and they just phase right through you. It is That's kind a of upsetting. Two. That's a two. He speaks if, to Can I Vaughn. try and examine them longer? Like, roll another intelligence check? You can make an investigation check if you'd like. Alright. The is whispering Dude, over I, to you, Vaughn. Dice. We have ghosts in this, in this, inside of the freaking... T in this building on our side. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely rolling like shit We need today, help. <laughs> you can um... reply to this message. I roll for the third time. Can I use this roll, Logan? You can roll for the third time. Oh. I reply, are you under attack? No, no. 18. He's he's are you in to... duress? Oh, okay. Actually, is, uh, 17. Like you're talking to Vaughn um, bon because of the... I rolled a D2. I'm you're talking to yourself? Him. Yep. <laughs> it was a uh, all, of a you, all of a sudden, you see Vaughn going... Um, yeah, okay, so there it goes well, in here. Well, you guys are all in the same what can, room, because in order to get I, to the other room, you have to go through the ballroom. Oh, so yeah? you're all okay, in the so ballroom. We're still all uh, in the ballroom, we just I, haven't, we haven't gone know. separate ways yet, got you. No, not yet. So we all I, see I this. Thought, I thought uh, we went separate ways. Okay. No, the, you all Thanks. entered into the building, and the first room that you have to go through is the ballroom. Then he did okay. not use a uh, message for no freaking reason. Okay. <laughs> long, uh, long freaks out, grabs his battle axe, and tries to attack the the, uh, the illusions. Okay, your axe, the axe just goes right through them, and they wow. continue dancing. And Vaughn rolled just as bad, uh, a natural two. Okay, so did uh, Dre figure out what they uh, were? Drea, you said seventeen. Yeah, these are definitely um, ghosts. Looking closely at them, and then looking at the floor, you can see faint runes. They kind of encircled the whole room that are lit, lit up. You get the idea that this is almost like a pre-recorded thing. Like... So it's like magic... It's like, like a magical recording, yes. Yeah. Do the do the runes look expensive? Uh, they're, they're painted on the ground. They're they're not all painted. Got damn it. Can she figure out gotcha. what the reason why they would even... Or like, is it too much to try and figure out why they would have done that? Um, you can speculate, but without... You can't... Mm -hmm. You'd have to ask someone. Can I go ahead and write? Can I write down in my uh, my little book? Can I write down? Can I copy what the uh, the rooms look like? Sure. Do you need me to roll anything, or you just you know, just good to go? It's easy enough to copy them. My man. How runes work? Can you replicate a rune if you copy? It, like if you. I think it, I, I think just copying it won't replicate it. I think I mean I think it's still like in a magical. It's a magical. I think you have to have a uh, yeah, it's a magical. Like can you attitude. make so runes? I can, like stuff yeah. like do stuff like that. Do, I, I think wonder. so. You can. It just depends on you know if you're like, if you're magically inclined. Yeah, Miney, read a book. Yeah, jerk. Read a book. Okay, so I copy it down, and I definitely you know will focus. So, I mean, is there anything besides the the dancing in the ballroom going on? Does anything else seem out, out of the ordinary? Anything that's Ow. not anything that is alive in here besides us? No. All right. Um, then I mean, if it's not causing us any harm, I'd say out loud. Um, uh, try not to get distracted. Let's go ahead and um, and check out. Let's go ahead and check out the other room. Oh yes, yeah, so you guys go ahead and check out the other room so we can go ahead and handle these mind flares. I'd rather get to them before they realize we're here. I they haven't already. Check, yeah. 
What are you, what are you inside checking in? It's very honest about that. Let's go ahead and have you guys check out that room real quick so we can go ahead and take out the my players together. You don't know I'm inside checking you as Turk here because I don't know. Because all I heard you is that you really want to go ahead and kill these nice flares here. I'm not sure if you really want to because you're. Because I'm speculating. Oh, I mean, you can roll if you want to. Make an insight check. Alright. Alright. To his um, deception, I'm assuming. I'm not accepting anything. You're not? No. I want you guys to hurry up and check out the room so that way we can attack the mind flares together. No, but you just said, Jermon, you know you just said that you were going to attack the, the mind. Never mind. Alright, you said what? Never mind. Sorry, I got a phone call right, right then and there. What'd you, what'd you say? Never mind. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that was, I wasn't trying to hide They're anything right there. Out of character, I wasn't hiding anything. I wanted you guys to actually hurry up and search the room so we can attack the mind players together before they realize that we're here if they don't already know. Um, with that being said, can we take like like a five minute break real quick, bathroom break, so I can yeah. grab something out the, out, out the car? All right, I'm gonna awesome. do some right back. So take a five minute break. I'm back. Hello? Hello. I forgot my drink. I'll be right back. Damn it. What drink? All this drip. Okay, I'm back. Hello? Hello. Uh,
I'm back. Are we good? Is everybody ready? Logan. Oh, yep, I'm here. Ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, the rogues are going off to explore the serpent's quarters? Yes, they are. Okay. You guys enter into the hallway. It's There's no light at all. So, those of you without dark vision, it is dark. That would be me, the kid. Do, um, changelings get dark vision? I'm... Gnomes do. Changelings, depending on what they change to, I believe they get that, um, racial trait, I believe. Uh, I have dark vision. I think it's up to 30 feet. I want to say 30 feet. Let me double check real quick. You don't yell at me. Uh, they have dark vision, Mighty. Okay. Okay. Because I'm on the wiki and it doesn't show dark vision, but... Hey, your DM said he has Wait, dark vision. Wait, do you have, um, the... Like, it, there's a book that has it, right, Logan? Yes. Could you take, like, a picture of it and send it to me? Maybe? Uh, sure, give me a minute. Alright. I think I have 60 feet, actually. So I can have that at least. Cause the only thing I have is from the wiki. So... I'd rather the book. I thought changeling was gonna It'll probably be vision. what's on the wiki, but I just wanted to check to make sure. Alright, good question. Everybody here trying to go stealthily or not? That's a good question. Who's going stealthy? Uh, I'm uh, for the rogues, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm going. I'll, I'll go stealth. Let me roll real quick. One second. Uh, I gotta get back to my app. Sorry. Uh, for Philip, stealth. I got a twenty-one. Okay, through here. Give me a second. Let's see. 28. Okay. And, uh, Drea? <laughs> um. I had to roll a disadvantage. Hold on. Let me see if I can roll lower than 5. Yeah. Nope. Um. 11. No problem. Thank you. Okay. You all, quietly, as quiet as you can, head down the hallway um it is dark it's it's basically pitch black there's no windows in the hallway as you enter the servants quarters there's a little bit of light filtering out from outside but it's dull and gray uh, the room seems to be empty other than the beds and the bookshelves but there's no books on the bookshelves and the beds have a thick layer of dust across them All right, you said there's room to the left and right. Uh, I feel like I can't remember. Can I run a? Can I roll a history check to see what? Here, I'll just uh, take a picture of the map. My man. I was like, <laughs> like I roll a history check to see what it was that freaking Rand said was to the left and right. <laughs> I'm too stupid, apparently. You're too stupid. You shut up, you beautiful son of a bitch. You're lucky you're my lover, or I'll kill you. Oh, God. Ain't nothing but a hooch mama. <laughs> Thank you, love. Okay. 
So, when you look at the map, room number one is the foyer, room number two is the ballroom, and then the servants' quarters are room number six. Room number six. All right, and we came in from two, so we have room number. We have room to the left, which is seven. Room to the right, which is eight. Of course, out of character, like you said, whenever you go to the right, you just see a wall, and that's why I told them there's a wall there, but I couldn't really say anything, anything different with that. Yeah. So, okay, so let's go to the left first. I think I'll suggest we go to the left first. Okay, that is where the mind flares are. I thought that they were to the forward, so when you come in from outside, which way, which way is from the outside in the, in the front? That's number three? Number one. Number one is the front? Yeah. So wait, then I thought that we were having, I thought the servants' quarters were to the right, which is number three. Oh, that's the, uh, yes, you're right, that's the servants' quarters, my apologies. Okay. Uh, the map's scared. a little confusing. You're going to scare the shit out of me there. <laughs> like, can I do this now? So, and then the left was the one with the, um... So that means number five would be the one with the the chest in it. Number four is. Number four. We just I just never went to number five. Okay, no problem then. Okay, and there's nothing weird about the servants' quarters. Uh, it just seems to be standard servants' quarters. All right. So while, at the same time, while they investigate that, can we go back to the other party and have them go uh. Take a look to the lift. Sure. Are you guys okay with that? I, I feel like I'm kind of running this, but we are a party uh, of friends. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm fine with whatever. So I love McNeil, but I mean, I, I put up with uh, Manny's character since he left us to die, which I'll never forget. Mm. Sounds like a personal problem. It is. It is. Okay. okay. So you guys enter the room. It does have a torchlight burning, and there are six chests strewn about the room. What would you like to do? Uh, can I, I roll like the, in... Um, I take it. I take a second to detect. Um, use detect magic. Okay. It's too good to be true. Do I uh, feel anything emanating from the chest? Magical. Uh, three of the chests emanate a faint bit of magic. The rest of the chests do not. Um. Is okay. it coming from the chest, I, or, the, or something I, inside the chest? Coming from the chest. I, I tell. I tell him. Halt. Uh. Halt. Halt. Um, I start, I gather those two up, whisper to them, mm -hmm. and point at, I, the, um, at the three chests that are magical, and I say, I think those might be mimics. Can I make a nature check on that? Uh, go ahead. Can I, while he's doing that, can I go ahead and cast Unseen <laughs> Servant and send him to open up one of the magical ones? <laughs> um, can I slide a hand open the uh, other ones that aren't magical? Okay, go ahead. Which part? Uh, Unseen uh, servant? Uh, 16. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, 16? They all look like yeah. standard chests. <laughs> okay. All look oh. like standard chests. I'll uh, send my Unseen Servant to go check out one of them. One of the magic ones? Yeah, he's, uh, Unseen Servant, um, visible force appears and follows your command and performs mundane tasks for you, which is, go open that chest, good sir. Okay. Uh, for the duration, the force cannot attack and has one hit point. It disappears if it is more than 60 feet away from you at, or at any point in the duration. So, if it is a mimic, he's going to get eight. It's not really going to do too much. It's not going to hurt me, and he fulfilled his purpose, Mr. Meeseek style. Okay. As it opens the chest, uh, the chest suddenly sprouts teeth and clamps down on it. I use so, sacred flame. As my character, as that happens, my character's pick locking the chest that's not magical, and it just looks over and it's just so fucking scared. <laughs> Please God, don't I do I use sacred flame immediately just because I fucking knew it. Look, and I rolled a whole lot higher than twenty for my sleight of hand to open the chest. Did I open it? You opened it. Is there anything inside? Would you uh, I'll tell you after. So go ahead and do your shaker right. flame, and the rest of you roll initiative. Damn. All right. <laughs> you have to roll a uh, DC. Logan, you gotta watch. You gotta oh, roll what's DC's what do I have um, to be? DC save. Um, fifteen. That's a natural twenty. Ooh, wow, that's some oh, crap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> As I go to shoot the sacred flame and everything, it's just like he just somehow dodges out, just standing still and. I'm just amazed. <laughs> your mimic, the mimic eats your sacred flame. Nothing happens. 
Yeah. Well, Let's the sacred flame hits, and it just burns off, and the creature seems unaffected. Uh, as that one mimic clamps down on the unseen servant, the other two chests suddenly sprout eyeballs, and they start lumbering towards you. But let's get uh, initiatives down. So, uh, Long got a 17, and Rand uh, Ran got an 11. Vaughn What about your rogue a... guy? Oh, uh, the rogue's not in the room. The rogue's still in the service quarters. What'd you quarters. say, man? We're in here by ourselves. Um, 13 for Vaughn. Oh, wait, the rogues didn't come in? No. No, the yeah. rogue, the, I, I purposely Remember? sent them off so that way we could get the, the, the treasure ourselves. Uh... I don't care about them getting paid. I only care about you. And I put up with Manny's character. <laughs> okay, so Igneal right. um, is the one that lockpicked then, okay. They're here. Yeah, Actually, oh, Igneal yeah. couldn't lockpick that chest. They're, they're well, it was deep. Oh, okay. Ig 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 a, Igneal was going to open it, saw, that, saw my Unseen Servant get eaten, and then shit himself. Their character got a one on his D4, so he is calling Igneal. Is everything Wait. okay? Just checking what? in. Wait, well, how did how does character I've known to check in? No, 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 no. Third is just checking in, just to check in, because you guys split up. That's all he's doing. You can lie to him; it don't matter. You can reply to this message. Okay, so Igneo, what'd you get for your initiative? Um, eleven. Eleven. Okay, up first is Long. Okay, Long pulls out his uh, battle axe and happily charges to the closest mi mimic and goes to attack. Okay, make an attack roll. All right, and Javon. Mostly, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get. Um, trying to roll a four on a D4 just to be able to talk to Long. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> With message. In, in, inside Long's head, all you hear is. Well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, 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 bird is a word. So you're not really getting shit. All right, I got a 17. That'll hit. Well, damn. It's, not, oh, much a, it's not much as mind reading as it's just like that. You can hear what That's I'm his reply. in your head. And, yeah, it's like a voice message. That's all it is. Long, long is assuming that it's the fucking, um, it's the mimic talking to him. And he's just singing and uh, getting ready to hack it in half. Great sword attack, 1d12 plus 2. Alright. D12. Oh, fuck yeah. So 14, baby. I got, got a 12. It just comes down with a beautiful swing. Boom. Okay. Uh, up next is Vaughn. Wait, literally? Wait, seriously? Oh, crap. Yeah. All right, um, um, that one took damage from Long, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tell the dead. Okay. Is it a save? I believe so. Let me double check again. Well, that's a natural two, sure. so he fails. It's a wisdom saving throw. Sorry, I'm going to succeed a wisdom saving throw. Or take okay. 1d8. Even, with, even with a plus one, that's only a yeah. three. Actually, it takes a 1d12 because it did already take damage. And since we're at, oh, at um, I think it's seven bubble, I think we he takes two d12s. Oh yeah, there you go. You're right. I didn't I didn't continue reading. <laughs> Don't worry, man. Beat his ass, choo choo. Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. All right. Uh, let's see. That's a three plus. Oh, thirty damage. Thirty okay. damage. Of just cold, chilling feels as a bells is ringing, gogging right inside of its mind. If a mimic had hands and ears, it would cover them, but it can't. So you just see purple blood kind of ooze <laughs> from its open mouth. <laughs> the mimic learns how to speak common for one second and says, I wish I had hands to cover my ears. Mimics can talk, I think. Some can. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> if they're old okay. enough. Uh, up next is Ram. Oh All wait, right, no, I still, I still got, I still got a bonus action. Oh, you have a bonus action, yes. B. I, I uh, summon spiritual. I use my uh, thing to summon a spiritual weapon. Okay. And the spiritual weapon will take on the form of <laughs> of the dagger that their character just threw. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? 
Yeah. Okay. It'll right be here, on top. It'll be at, it'll be in front of the mimic so that they do come towards us. Opportunity attack. Okay. Okay. Um. So long and long and Vaughn are by one of the mimics, or uh. So I'll go ahead and attack one of the ones that hasn't been attacked yet. I'm gonna okay. go ahead and pull out my dagger of venom. And as a bonus action, I'm gonna go ahead and use um. Shadow blade. Is, is it kind of dark in the room, or is it just like lit by by torches type it's shit? It's lit by one torch. Yep. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and uh cast shadow blade. You weave together threads of shadow to create to create a sword, which I'm just gonna make a, da a dagger, a solidified gloom in your hand. The magic sword lasts until the spell ends. It counts as a simple melee weapon, which you are psychic proficient damage. with. Daggers deals. Yep. Two two d eight psychic damage on a hit and has. The finesse, light, and throne properties. In addition, when you use the sword to attack a target that is in dim light or darkness, you make attack roll with advantage. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and it is attack. darkness. Or that, that, that's right. your turn to make it, right? It's not a bonus action? It is a bonus action. It's a action. bonus oh, action. Bonus. Okay, you still have an action. action. Yeah, you sexy, sexy, you son of a bitch. I'm going to roll that at a um, spell slot 3, level uh, third level spell slot. So I'm going to do 3d8 if I hit. Okay, so I'll roll to attack twice. One attack for the Dagger of Venom. Got a 15. That'll hit. And then for the Shadow Blade, I got a 17. Thank you, Jesus. That'll hit. Both will hit. All right. So 1d4 plus 1. So I got 4 for the uh, Dagger of Venom. And then 3d8. Is gonna be the other one, and I got twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Oh, actually, I have advantage on that one. So yeah, no, I'll go twenty-one. The other one was a twenty. <laughs> Twenty-five total. Mm-hmm. Okay. On one of the other uh, mimics. You carve Pre preferably into the its... one that ate my unseen servant. Yeah. You carve into its hide, exposing this purple, goopy blood that just kind of splurts onto the ground. It kind of lets out a loud shriek, and then turns its attention to you. And that's gotcha. your turn. Igniel, you're up. Igniel uses his bonus action to cast the bar the stone barrier on a, um, Ran. Okay. And then he casts. How many are they grouped up together? The mimics. Uh, they spread throughout the room. They're spread out about five feet from each other. Could I hit them, multiple of them, with Ice Knife or Thunder Wave? Um, you would hit your friends. Um, I think this is going to be a first well, there, 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 is, there is one that we haven't attacked yet that's probably not by us if you want to attack that one. <laughs> There's one that Long's in front of and that Vaughn attacked. There's one that I attacked. And there's still another one that yeah, there's a third none of us one have attacked yet. I'll say your ice knife wouldn't hit your friends if you threw it, but a fireball would hit them. Alright. Um, Fucking savage. It'll probably alert. I'll cast ice place. knife at level <laughs> one and throw okay. it at the uh, one that won't hit my allies. Go ahead and roll the hit. Um, ice knife, 5v. E. Uh, don't have to worry about it, Miney. You won't hit, the, you won't hit, uh, Vaughn. Vaughn is... <laughs> behind you and as long as they're not within a five foot radius of the ice knife the last one is about five feet away so it wouldn't hit them right. um a 18 to hit that'll hit all right um roll d10 and then 2d6 Oh, they also have to make a dexterity save. Oh, a dexterity save? That's a four. Okay, so... For, uh, it's in a five foot radius, so does it only hit that one, or...? Uh, I'll say it hits the other mimic, but it doesn't hit your friends. So you'll hit two mimics. Okay. Um, so the first mimic that I threw the dagger at takes five damage. Okay. And then the, that mimic and then the other mimic, if they failed on their dexterity save, take uh, 9 damage. They both fail. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Okay. 
Okay. Up next are the Mimics. Uh, one is going to attack uh, Uran. That's a okay. 20 to hit. Uh, sorry. I was reading. What's your AC? When I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that fucking hits. 14, so yeah, definitely fucking hits. Um, hold on, let me see what I do. It's done ages as... Okay. Any bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage the target takes is reduced by 2 plus your sorcerer level divided by 4. So it doesn't give you more AC, but it reduces damage you take. By my piercing, sorcerer level? Piercing, or slashing. So no, my sorcerer. Oh, by yours. Gotcha. So you'll, it'll, you'll reduce the damage by... Hold on. So it still hits him, Logan, but okay. I reduce some of the damage. Gotcha, gotcha. Two plus. Love it, my. I'm a level seven sorcerer now, aren't I? I didn't roll my hit points higher. Fuck. Hey, Logan, what would you consider plus the challenge seven. rating on Mimic? Bye bye. A two. <laughs> Oh god. Um. So it reduces your damage by t uh, two, Javon. So you take All four right, points of the... damage. Four points of damage. Gotcha. And as that happens, I use my reaction to teleport behind him and stab him with my uh, sort okay. of. Okay. Uh, Make your attack roll. Wounding. What does the sword of wounding do again? Hold on. I gotta look it up. <laughs> Let me roll. I get advantage, right? Because I'm flanking. Yes. I'm glad you understand where this is going, Manny. Yeah, I know. Um, 16 plus something to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Um. Alright, so. Let me see. What was it? A long sword is a long sword, right? So, yes. a long sword is D8. Yes. Ooh, a fucking eight. Hold on. I also do force damage too, so hold on. Does an extra one D ten. Alright. So I do twelve damage to it. Or er, I do thirteen damage to it, sorry. Okay. So you appear behind it and you jab your blade into his, into what would be his back. It lets out a horrible shriek and kind of turns to you. Uh, the other two are going to attack. One's going to attack long. That's a 16 to hit. Uh, sorry about that. Let me switch back to the S. I want to say that hits. Uh, that hits. He takes 7 points of bludgeoning damage. Actually, one second. Before I say it hits... Uh, since I'm a necro, my sir. You tell the spontaneous snow a minute is it to the creature. You know what I find interesting now that I think about it is your character is an undead, Javon, your your brother, right? What happened? Happen? Your your uh character's brother is an undead, right? Yeah. My character, uh, um, Drea can take control of your get your brother I'll kill you <laughs> wow just so you're aware wow. um, she has control on that since I can remove his points maximum cannot be reduced uh, six level negative energy summon not desperate hit points from the you raise additional hit points and bonus melee okay you got I think it just has this I think I just have a little, a few more hit points on him, but yeah, it hits, it hits though. So seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then the last one is gonna come up to you, uh, Igneal, and it's gonna attack you. Whenever the um, one that uh, I attacked, um, on its turn, it takes one d4 necrotic, and it can make a Constitution save. Okay, so it fails to save, so it takes one d4 necrotic. I'll let you roll that. All right. Um, let me find d4. Four damage. Okay. Uh, it's going to reach out and try to bite you. That's a big, 17 to Big hit. Witch Logan's it. 
Did any of them run past my spiritual weapon or what? No. Okay. What's mining 17 to hit? Oh, uh, who are you attacking? Igneal. Oh, that does not hit. Okay, so it goes to bite you. It clamps onto your stone, stony arm, but it can't pierce it, and it just lets go. Uh, back to the top with Long. Okay, um, Long is going to go ahead and try to hit this motherfucker again. Okay. So, sorry about that. I was. I just was deciding that I should probably make a character sheet for for long. It might make fucking sense. But uh, twenty. Let's see. Did you like base them off the monk class or something like that? For like punching. He's just a fucking zombie, honestly. <laughs> just a, a zombie <laughs> human. <laughs> Nothing really crazy about him. Fifteen. That will hit. All right. Do you, and he'll do attack you again it? with his great axe. One d twelve plus two. What's up? It's too bad long wasn't a zombie monk. Fuck shit up. Yeah. With a Seven, zombie, man. Uh, so nine. Spiritual fist. Nine attack with his great axe again. Okay, you carve into the mimic. It looks. It's like barely breathing, it's barely holding itself together. Gotcha, gotcha. Up next is Vaughn. Okay, uh, where are those guys all close by? Uh, they're all clumped together around Long, Igneal, and uh, Rain. Alright. In the middle of those, t uh, all, all, all those mimics with um, with a um, within a ten feet radius of them, um, you see Vaughn get on his knees, start praying for a bit, put his hands up to the air, and basically, wave him like he just don't Tara, care. send your guardian Thanks. of light to me. Okay. And. I cast Guardian of Faith at level four. Okay, what does that do? Basically, it puts um, it places a uh, guardian, it places a guardian of uh, my um, goddess within uh, within a spot within uh, thirty feet of me. Mm -hmm. Um, I can place it, and any enemies within like uh, ten feet of it have to make a Dex save on it on its turn. And if it fails it, it takes 20 um, damage, twenty points of radiant damage, or half, if they uh, succeed. Okay. I just realized, I think I get another spell slot. That'll be for, that's gonna, <gasps> that'll be the, uh, oh, shit. that'll be the action, um, for the, um, bonus, um, uh, for my, uh, bonus action, I guess I'll move my, um, sacred weapon. Okay. Over and you... attack, the one that's not damaged the most. Okay, make an attack roll. Alright. Wait, whoops, those are 12. Guys, I can use up a fourth fireball. God damn it. Oh. Yay. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Why? I could use a fourth fireball of a four, or I could use something else. 19. 19, that'll hit. Alright. Nice. That's a. So, I still got the same. 15 amount points of, of damage. 15 points of force damage, Logan. Okay, your dagger, your ethereal dagger plunges into its hide. It squeals and kind of thrashes. Um, that's the end of your turn? Yeah, yep. Uh, Ran, you're up. No problem. I just realized that I, I get extra um, a, a points when it comes to um, melee attacks with my zombie brother, so I'll make sure I use that from now on. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. He's there. I don't think I need those guys anymore. Ran. Uh, so the one by Long is almost dead. The one by me has it been hit by anybody? Anybody else? Uh, no, yes. I'm just gonna keep it's, them. it's not too doing too well either. Okay, then I'm just gonna go ahead and attack again with my um, Shadow Blade and dagger, dagger of Venom. Okay, go ahead. I'll make you proud, you beautiful enemy. I got fifteen. That'll for hit. one. I got 14 for the other. That will hit. Woo! Alright. I got 5 for the Dagger of Venom. Okay, uh, I knew it. I was also, I think I forgot the, uh, the creature must succeed a DC 15 constitution saving throw or take 2d10 poison damage and become poisoned for 1 minute. So from the last time... 
Uh, you want to go ahead and roll a constitution? Yeah. Uh, it, it succeeds the first one, fails the second one. Alright, so 2D You can only use Divine damage. Smite with a uh, melee weapon, right? Uh, I think it can be used on anything. So, if you use Divine Smite on a bow, that'd be awesome. So, 2d10. So, we got 10 for the poison damage. And... 7 for the necrotic damage. Okay, so 17? Yes. Okay. This mimic's looking on its last legs. Uh, up next is Igneal. All right, so um, is there how many mimics are left? Just one? <laughs> all, no, all three are left. Oh, it's last okay. legs. <laughs> they all look really bad. I'm gonna try and position another ice. I'm gonna try and hit whatever one with the nice knife that's gonna hit as many as I can. Okay, you can hit all three at this point. All right, so oh, I forgot to roll a d20 for my last time casting a spell. Oh, I'm good. Okay, so um, I'm rolling. To hit with the nice knife. Does a was that a nine? Um, I should be able to hit with this. Uh, sixteen. That'll hit. Wild okay. magic. Um, I'm good at my wild magic. So they all need to make a dexterity save, but um, they all fail. I'm rolling to the damage for the initial hit on the first okay. one. Okay, but they all fail their save. Okay. Um. So it's six damage on the first one, and then six damage for the uh, the re all of them for the AOE. Okay. Explosion. You watch as your knife plunges into the third one. It kind of lets out this loud shriek as the explosion ex it as the explosion goes. Uh, the other two are peppered with ice, and they just kind of collapse in on themselves, oozing out purple blood. There's only one left now. Nice. Right. It is right, now his so turn. It has to make a dexterity saving throw. That's a natural two, so it fails. And it only right. does it make the dex. Do, does it take the damage? Does it make the dexterity save or, or not dexterity, but um, a wisdom or what is it? Constitution yeah, save or. Uh, I it's, it's failed its save. Oh okay. Um, so it takes one d four. Let me roll that. I think the way it works for that is I think it can make the dexterity or the constitution save after I roll the damage, I think. I don't know. You'll have to read it and find out. Uh, two damage, though. Okay. They only had two health. Nice. Okay, so the last mimic kind of lets out this gurgling shriek and then folds in on itself, just oozing this viscous purple blood. And Igneal immediately starts looting. Make an investigation check. Same. And also, oh, Logan, while, while we're doing that, I want to go ahead and ass. place my hand on two of the uh, the Mimic corpses, and I'm going to whisper the word Rise. And now they're both my zombie bitches. Two Mimics? Yep. I got two Mimics. One, I'm going to have one. It's, it's going to be a backpack. <laughs> one's going to look like a backpack, and one's going to look like a, a sword. Can they do I'll that? I'll keep them with me and throw them when I need to. Okay, so... That? Yes. So, look. Huh? It doesn't, it doesn't specify what I can do with the Guardian Faith. I don't know. I'm assuming that I didn't use, I, he didn't do any damage because... For the fact that my and Javon decided to go ahead and overhaul, kill everything. Uh, it... it if, I'm it, good it, at killing. What can I say? It didn't get a chance to do anything, yes. Okay, so this guy, this guy, the Guardian Faith lasts eight hours and it moves about thirty feet in range. I'm okay. assuming. So for the next eight hours, I'm just gonna have it follow me, follow me behind for the next eight hours. Okay. Me. Okay. And uh, I rolled a fifteen on investigation and long, even with a negative four to investigation, rolled a twelve. Okay, you guys find in the purple guts and goo, you find about 200 gold. I rolled a five. About what? 200 gold. Okay. Okay. Can I search a chest? All the chests? Go ahead. Make investigation checks. 
Uh, six. Um, all the chests seem to be empty. Wow. Can someone check these chests? Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, I wrote 15 and So can I go ahead and check after yeah. him? Make sure he's not um, being stupid. They seem to be empty. <laughs> hey, this is <laughs> bullshit. Okay. Who's taking the gold? 17. How much was the, was the gold? 200, it was 200 gold I think. Oh, we can just split it between us, dude. Look. Any shit. Logan. 17. Yes. Uh, the chests appear to be empty. Okay. I'll let you and um uh Vaughn split it so 100 gold apiece for both of you. All I right. ju I just um look at the gold and just walk away. All right. Oh, well, well then I take half of it. Fuck. All right. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and that is where we'll end for today because I gotta go. All right. No problem. Um. Okay. It gives me time to pick a spell for Igneal, so.